Hanukkah outfit Lamb. But now she's decided to go it alone and has created some enchanting new songs. We headed down to Leafy Surrey to spend a day with Lou at the community she has made her home and find out more about her beautiful record. I've been living here in this community just over two years. And I came here when I needed somewhere to go. Wish I could run away from this pain I feel. There's been a lot of major changes in my life and this album has been written as a kind of part of that process. You know, I think writing songs can be very cathartic and if there's a lot going on for you, it's amazing to be able to put that into songs. Falling out of love can be so unreal. I was living in London and um, unfortunately I parted company with my uh, the, the father of my children and wanted somewhere to go and I kind of drove here in my camper van with my kids and the van broke down in the driveway. Um, and it just felt like, all oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's, uh, this is where I will be for a while. Lamb was um, an adventure, I think, for sort of nine, almost 10 years of my life. The, the sort of key thing in Lamb, in the sort of creative process, was the fact that it was two of us. It was myself and Andy Barlow, and we were kind of like brother and sister in, in a lot of different ways. We were. There was a kind of sibling rivalry going on. I think the process of making my solo album has been a breeze, I guess, in comparison to Lamb. Lamb was always about the struggle. I think, in a way, in my life in general, as well as in my music, I decided that it was enough. You know, I didn't want to struggle anymore, and that marked the beginning of this journey I've been on for the last two years. Save me. Save me. There wasn't really a concept for Beloved One. For me, I think the important thing in a way is for ideas and concepts to take a back seat when it comes to creativity, you know. My songs come from, yeah, damn, you know, from, from my core, from my heart. And the more my head gets involved, the less they work. Stand up and face the world, but I... The song Beloved One obviously is written about a particular person who's very beloved to me. You are my precious one, and since my life began, I've been waiting for you, angel. Who is the beloved one then? Ah, that's for me to know. <laughs> my beloved one. Please welcome to the stage to collect her award, the very gifted, the wonderful Lou Rose. God, it is heavy. Um, <laughs> I've waited all this time to make a solo record and now I'm wishing I had band members to keep me company up here. Um, but yeah, I made a record from my heart and um, that's what meant a lot to me. But to get this award um, is an extra, extra bonus. So thank you to everyone involved, uh, especially Emra who produced it with me and to my beloved one. Thank you. Let's hear it for Lou Rhodes.